Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Ripple institutional investors slow down as XRP sees only 240,000 in weekly inflows. One of the leading crypto-oriented asset managers, catering predominantly to institutional clients, CoinShares, has reported a total of 199 million of weekly inflows. Largest number has been since July of 2022 and correcting 50% of the previous nine consecutive weeks of outflows. The report outlines that Bitcoin has been one of the, uh, or has been the one that benefited the most with a whopping 187 million USD of inflows throughout the week. This represents a whopping 94% of the company's total flows. CoinShares also reported that this turn and sentiment didn't trickle down to altcoins with only very minor inflows into XRP and Solana totaling 0.24 million and 0.17 million respectively. It's worth noting that Ripple is in the middle of a massive legal fight against the SEC over alleged uh, con conducting of unregistered securities offering and it's likely that many institutional investors are waiting the outcome of the case. So. We do know this and why XRP lawsuit verdict is taking so long. The XRP lawsuit remains crucial for the entire crypto industry and a hunt for clarity around crypto regulations. And the legal battle of the SEC and Ripple is waiting for crucial summary judgment. The unexpected delay in the XRP lawsuit verdict has kept the crypto industry on the hunt for clarity around crypto regulations and Mark Fagel. A retired securities lawyer mentioned that in a recent study of a federal case from 2018 suggested a summary judgment in a federal district court as an average of around six months is wrong. The XRP lawsuit is now approaching seven months and still waiting. So attorney John Deaton, uh, the XRP holders lawyer in the lawsuit stated that a federal district courts would average one to three months for summary motions. Congress wouldn't have initiated the six month rule. And <clears throat> the Federal Reserve Bank of America embraces Ripple for real time settlement platform. And they're wondering will the XRP price soar to a new high? U.S. Federal Reserve FedNow service is set to launch July 1st of 2023. We're literally days away i believe what is that four i guess if you count the next day four to five days away so it's positioning itself as an innovative instant payment solution within the american financial landscape and while ripple and stellar lumens offer blockchain based cross-border payment system fed now's capabilities may present a competitive challenges to these entities you may also be using them as fed now onboarded for july 1st iso 20022 enabled real-time settlement you guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and feel free to share these videos it does help the channel also to powerhouse alliance in regards to ripples xrp stellar's xlm and iota join forces for possible swift integration revolutionizing the billion dollar crypto market and that's a discussion i'm going to add to when we're finished with the articles here. So Ripple, Stellar, and IOTA are emerging as leaders in the move towards SWIFT integration with their advanced payment technology, compliance efforts, and engagement with ISO 20022. And these cryptocurrencies are solving real-world problems and are poised to transform the financial sector by banking the unbanked. It's such a big deal for um, Stellar, banking the unbanked. <laughs> facilitating fast, low-cost international transaction and fostering machine-to-machine -machine transactions. Also, too, SWIFT uh, is preparing for this in a burgeoning billion-dollar crypto market. Ripple, Stellar, and IOTA are standing out as pioneers taking definitive strides towards the SWIFT integration. Don't forget, I wouldn't leave out XDC also. As traditional financial institutions increasingly seek to mesh with the dynamic cryptocurrency landscape, these three cryptos are becoming the favorite choice owing to their robust ready-to-use payment technology and proactive compliance with existing regulatory frameworks. On June 19th, the 
HKX Group announced the launch of their HKD RMB dual counter model, and this initiative will further support the trading and settlement of RMB denominated securities in Hong Kong and also contribute to the ongoing internationalization of the RMB, stated by SWIFT stating that they're also proud to have supported this new scheme by providing insights on standards and market practices alongside the securities market practice group and here right on swift they share the hkex post of stating that they celebrated the launch of the hkd rmb dual counter model and with a ceremony um marketing an important milestone for hong kong's capital markets and the internationalization of the RMB. Also to go back to this thought here. Remember with um, XRP and the SWIFT integration, even if they just get 20%, just 20% of SWIFT, then you're already talking a three digit XRP. Also, to Stellar Price and Usage blast off together. Stellar's price experienced a 3.1% increase and hitting 9 cents with over 15% increase in the past week. Stellar ramps a new system introduced by Stellar, which allows for seamless integration between digital wallets and a global network of bankers, facilitating easy transfers between fiat and digital assets. Also, too, guys, remember this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. But I do want to give you a quick update. As we've said, with the whole XRP community mentioning Moon Lambo, you know, once we moon, once we take off, buy mansions, buy Lambos. And I think that's great for all of you who have financial abundance. But always remember this option. Never treat your earnings from your assets like it's winning the lottery and here's why have you seen the statistics of lottery winners most of them they're broke within two to eight years and that's because they're treating it as free money not earned income when you learn to treat everything that you receive as earned income what are your first things tithing taxing and then paying your debt at that point the number one thing that we've always promoted here once you have your wealth you receive your wealth you have your financial abundance protect that fight hard to hold on to that because that's the number one thing that most people do not do and they wind off worse than they were before they started so here's a quick thought once you get your wealth quickly connect and contact a, a you know a reputable financial advisor financial planner and talk to them get situated and get set up because what you're going to want to do you know suppose you do have excessive abundance you do want your mansion you do want your lambo you know place whatever scenario you like there but that's the general rule with the crypto communities with your financial planner for example eight percent interest is pretty common something they can get pretty consistently in a safe manner as well think of this for every million at eight percent you're talking eighty thousand a year obviously that would be a new income so you pay your capital gains etc but your financial planner will advise you on all that and along with your accountant as well you will definitely want a good accountant so then you're stress-free so go in for every million that you have support let's just say two million because that's the example we've always used if you give your financial planner two million dollars at eight percent and you choose to take the uh, interest annually on that that's eighty thousand per million now you're talking hundred and sixty thousand for life and you're still holding two million dollars you're a millionaire making hundred and sixty thousand a year if you plan you know take that percentages whatever it is if you make a hundred million whatever number feels good put in that percentage again that's why i always say two million in that you can do the rest with whatever you want two million you're talking one hundred sixty thousand a year for life at two million dollars i think pretty much even after capital gains taxes you can live really well on two million dollars with the one hundred sixty thousand a year 
if you're living on the interest of that reason I stated is you will always have that principle for life and quick update I had confronted my financial advisor as well this was the exact scenario um, he had given as an example obviously your client in private information remains private but the example is the thing that we are highlighting here um, I followed up and said you know do you still have a client that do you remember this discussion he said absolutely I said that's still something that's available he said absolutely I said are you still working with that client he said absolutely I said just a really quick update and did you find any struggle with that eight percent or was that you know on the low end on the middle end or on the high end he said well actually the past two years this client has been averaging 44 percent on her uh two million dollars so the can you imagine you're totally happy with eight percent you're eighty thousand a year and then your financial planner your financial advisor at the end of the year when you're coming to pick up your eight percent check you're you know again eighty thousand per million at two million you're hundred and sixty thousand dollars you're expecting to come in and pick up that check and then he has a check for you of the eight hundred and eighty thousand uh, I, I think that's pretty significant difference um, onto the the income that you are projecting and expecting. So either which way, guys, that's that's pretty huge to me. Instead of getting one hundred sixty thousand for two years, this client got eight hundred eighty thousand. I think you did very very successful. And again, he said, that's not very common, but that's what happened the last two years. So again, that was a quick update with that. So you worked hard, you were patient, you sacrificed, and you were very committed to hold on to this much. Fight even harder to keep on to that so that you can have generational wealth for your family, for your kids, for your grandkids. And again, you know, just tossing out ideas as everyone else is tossing out the idea of how to spend it. I'm just trying to help balance that out on how you can save it and continue to grow that income so that you don't lose what you spent all this time to make and to gain. All right, guys. As always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Much love to each and every one of you. Thanks so much for your support. We'll catch you in the next one.